Hello everyone, and we are here in Richmond, Virginia for the burial side of the fifth president of the United States, James Monroe. Now, right here, we have the burial side of John Tyler, which I just did a video on. Be sure to check that out in the cards. But uh, he's buried 15, 20 feet away. We got James Monroe. We're gonna be screaming his name for Smash. 1817 to 1825. Now, Monroe, as you can see here, was born on April 28th, 1758 in Virginia. Now, just like all the other early Virginia presidents, he was a major slave owner. He was a Democratic Republican, winning both the election of 1816 and 1820. But before we got into politics, James Monroe was a soldier in the American Revolution. He was actually with George Washington when they crossed the Delaware River in Christmas Day 1776 at the Battle of Trenton. You can see the... Um, the painting where Washington's crossing the Delaware, the guy holding up the flag is James Monroe. So he was there at the Battle of Trenton. He was actually wounded at the Battle of Trenton in uh, December of 1776. And then, uh, yeah, but he, it wasn't, his wounds weren't very fatal. And luckily they did win that battle, one of the more important battles in the revolution. So he was, he did serve under Washington. Um, so he became president. He was actually Secretary of State under Madison, I believe. He was with the Democratic Republicans. Now, he was the last founding father president, the last president to be born that served in the American Revolutionary War. Uh, so he was uh, Secretary of State under Madison, which seemed to be the major jumping point to the presidency. Now, I love his grave here. It looks so cool because he's got the bird cage, which is actually really awesome. One of the cooler looking president graves. I honestly, I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger, but I actually like the size, uh, as you can see right here. So he's president, he wins the election of 1816 as basically James Madison's chosen candidate. Basically runs on Madison, fourth term, or third term, in 1816. He defeats Rufus King, who is the uh, Federalist candidate. And the Federalists were just not very good in the 1810s, did not stand a chance with the Democratic Republicans. Um, so he won 1816. And actually, for his second term in 1820, he basically ran unopposed. There was really no other major candidate for the Federalists. They just kind of gave up, and Monroe won in 1820. Uh, he was famous for issuing the Missouri Compromise Line, which in 1820, Missouri wanted to become a state, and they didn't know if they wanted to be free or slaves, so they wanted to be a slave state. So he drew the line in the middle of the country. They said everything south of this line can have slaves. Everything north it has to be a free state. So they added Maine, which was at that time part of Massachusetts, so they put Maine in there as a free state keep the balance and every time they added a new one they had to add a new and but eventually they just didn't really do that and then he basically laid the footsteps for the civil war there uh with the north and south line but james monroe did that with the missouri compromise james monroe for smash oh. all right so with that short little video i want to thank guests for watching be sure to comment like subscribe go check out the hollywood cemetery tour because uh i'm in the middle of making it right now and i'll see you guys next time be sure to comment like subscribe Goodbye, wang!